Sadhguru, we're here in Davos at a time when in India there's a big uh, chatter about what's happening at the Gyan Vyapi Mosque, where there are two different kinds of contestations, one by the Hindu petitioners who are saying that this was uh, originally a temple which was raised by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb, and the other led by Asuddin Ovesi and many others uh, who feel that because of the existence of the places of worship back 1991, uh, the status of the Gyan Vyapi Mosques should stay as, as it is. I'm very curious to know, as somebody who looks closely at society, how you think this very contentious issue should be looked at and addressed? Thousands of temples were raised to ground during invasions. Well, we couldn't protect them then. Now, uh, talking about all those thousands of temples doesn't make sense because you cannot rewrite history in that sense. But at the same time, very iconic places. I think the community should sit down together and work this out. This is not for the benefit of the nation that everything we fight, whatever you say, I will oppose. Whatever I say, you will oppose. This is not the way forward. Uh, some very iconic places, I think for once we should sit down and say, okay, these two, three sites, let's settle this. Rest of it, don't raise it again. I think we should do that instead of going one at a time, one at a time and keeping the controversy on unnecessary enmity be between communities. This is not necessary. I feel as a civilized society, for once we should sit down and say, okay, what are the issues? Can we settle it or not? We should sit down and settle it. There must be some give and take in this. Uh, about this particular thing, I am not conversant with the news, so I don't want to make a comment on that. But I feel that will be a way forward for both the communities, above all for the nation. It's important. I think we should stop thinking in terms of Hindu community and Muslim community. Right now, India is at uh, uh, a juncture where if we do the right things, we could be a significant nation in the world in terms of economy, in terms of uh, political power, in every way. Nation could become a very significant force in the world. I don't think we should squander this going on, uh, making everything into a big dispute. I know local politics, uh, people will try to play for their advantage. I, I would beseech people and the news agencies and media houses not to make this controversial. Just make sure that we go towards a solution once for all, rather than raking it up every few years. So, your proposed solution is identify a few crucial yes. sites, sit and, and talk. Yes, sit and talk. Do Don't... you think that there is space in society for such dialogue? There is definitely space. We just have to create the willingness. In this, media houses have a significant role. If you, uh, if you call for debates with the sensible people from both communities, if that narrative begins to build, definitely it's possible. There is no uh, dispute that cannot be settled. That if... There's been this demand that there be a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, like there was in the post-apartheid era in South Africa, where this business of denial ends and the barbarism of uh, Mughal emperors and of invading armies is accepted and then begin a process of truth and reconciliation. Definitely, something like that. Not necessarily in the same terms, because that was of a different nature. But this also is there, there is pain in people's hearts. So, sit down and talk rather than just fighting endlessly, arguing endlessly. First of all, those who are in active politics should be kept out of these things because this should not be made into a political mileage or a political capital for anybody. But uh, for the conversation in the country should move beyond communities and come to the nation. Uh, and on the issue of uh, the role that the judiciary can play, because for example, in the Ayodhya case, it was said that you know, this is a one-off exception made for Ayodhya. Now, no other matter should be brought up. You said identify two key sites or few key sites, possibly say Kashi and Mathura. But then there are demands being made for the Taj Mahal to be renamed, yeah. for uh, for rooms to be opened, for the Qutub Minar uh, to be called the Vishnu Stam, because there also there were temples. So, if you're in your See, proposed solution nature, is, how do you know it'll end at two? No, the nature of India is there were temples in every street, in every place. All right, this is the nature of the country. Well, historically, that's been uh, changed in many ways. There is bitterness in a whole lot of people. So, that's why I'm saying a few iconic places you choose and sit down and say, these few things you settle after that, never again. It should be raised once again, once again. At the same time, whatever historical blunders or cruelties that have happened, 
there must be some kind of... You know, if not, I... I'm not even asking for apologies or anything because there are no Mughals sitting there to apologize for you. Muslims of the country are Indian citizens, all right? So, there is nobody there to apologize to you. Mughal kings are not sitting there to apologize. There's no such thing. Little reconciliation. Okay, something has been taken away from you. Okay, let's settle this. This approach should come. Above all, we must settle these things quickly if you want nation to move ahead.